Subject Pronouns and Antecedents at Grammar Songs by Melissa. This video builds upon the concepts and skills addressed in Introducing Pronouns and in Understanding Personal Pronouns, Subject Pronouns. You have learned that pronouns are substitutes or replacements for nouns or proper nouns when we read, speak, or write. The prefix pro means for, so pronouns stand in for nouns. Using the noun boy, I can write, the boy played football. Using a proper noun, I could say, Tyrese played football. Using a pronoun, I would write, he played football. The pronoun he can replace the noun boy or the proper noun Tyrese as long as it agrees in gender and number with the antecedent. Gender, number, antecedents? Don't worry, I'll explain. You actually have had some experience selecting pronouns with the proper number and gender when you learned about personal and subject pronouns in earlier videos. You learned to choose I, you, she, he, or it when the subject was singular or just one, and to use we, plural you, or they when the subject was plural or more than one. In the sentence, the car raced down the street, the car is the subject. And since there is only one car, we would need to choose a singular subject pronoun to replace the car as the subject in the sentence. Since the car has no gender, it's neither a girl nor a boy, we would choose it as the subject of the sentence. It raced down the street. If we change the car to the cars, we would need to choose a plural pronoun since there is more than one car. Since the cars is a group that I'm not included in, I would choose the plural pronoun they. They race down the street. Okay, so number means one or more than one, and gender means male or female. But what's an ante, ante, antecedent? An antecedent is just a fancy name for the noun or proper noun the pronoun is referring to. For example, when I wrote, the boy played football, and I replaced the noun boy with the pronoun he, he played football, the pronoun he was referring to the noun boy. So boy is my antecedent. So if I use the proper noun Erica and write, Erica talked on the cell phone, I could use the pronoun she and write, she talked on the cell phone, since Erica is one person and a female. She is my pronoun referring to Erica, so Erica is the antecedent. Exactly. So why is this important? This is important because when you are writing multiple sentences or paragraphs, you need to communicate clearly so your reader can understand your message. Fluffy is my pet bunny. Fluffy is gray with a pink nose. Fluffy likes to eat bunny hop pet food and carrots. Fluffy loves to share with her friend Spice. Overusing your subject, in this case Fluffy, detracts from your writing. As a writer, you want to use subject pronouns to make your writing less choppy, but you also want to correctly communicate. If I change all of the Fluffies in this paragraph to she since Fluffy is singular and female, my reader would have no idea who I am writing about. She is my pet bunny. She is gray with a pink nose. She likes to eat bunny hop pet food and carrots. She loves to share with her friend Spice. Who is she? But if I make sure to place an antecedent, a noun or proper noun ahead of my pronouns, my writing is clear and my reader understands. In this case, my subject being referred to is Fluffy. Fluffy is my antecedent. Fluffy is my pet bunny. She is gray with a pink nose. She likes to eat bunny hop pet food and carrots. She loves to share with her friend Spice. This story is about Fluffy. I'm the antecedent. It is also important to use antecedents when you speak. They just called. They are coming over. What? Who? Ugh, I wish Sasha would learn to use antecedents. Meg and Ed just called. They are coming over. Meg and Ed are coming over. Hooray! It is my favorite. 
Which one? I wish Lily would use antecedents. The slide is my favorite. Yippee! Whee! Antecedents are fun. So remember, pronouns replace nouns and proper nouns to make communication less choppy. Antecedents are the nouns and proper nouns pronouns are replacing or referring to. And most importantly, using pronouns and antecedents properly makes your speaking and writing more clear. Hooray! You've earned an A plus on subject pronouns and antecedents. Thank you for joining me at Grammar Songs by Melissa.